क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स से इज दैट अ पैरल ग्लास स्लैब ऑफ थिकनेस फाइव सेंटीमीटर्स इज मेड ऑफ मटीरियल ऑफ रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स थ्री बाई टू वेन लाइट इंसिडेंट एन वन ऑफ द पैरल फेसेज एट एन एंगल आई इट इमर्जेस फ्रॉम द अदर पैरल फेस इफ द लैटरल डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द इमर्जेंट बीम इज फाइव सेंटीमीटर्स देन द वैल्यू ऑफ आई विल बी नो डे स्टूडेंट्स एज पर द गिवन क्वेश्चन इफ दिस इज द लैटरल डिस्प्लेसमेंट दैट इज एक्स then x is given to be equal to 5 cm also the thickness of the glass slab is given to be 5 cm now dear students if this is the angle of incidence and this is the angle of refraction the formula to calculate the lateral displacement that is x is equal to t by cos r multiplied by sin i minus r now dear students t is the thickness of the glass slab as per the figure on substituting the given values we can write that 5 is equal to 5 by cos r into sin of i minus r which means that sin i minus r is equal to cos r dear students this is possible only when angle of incidence i is equal to pi by 2 because we know that sin of pi by 2 minus theta is actually equal to cos theta therefore the angle of incidence for this particular case should be pi by 2 or 90 degrees and the correct answer for this particular question should be option number 1 now let us proceed to the further question which is question number 7 Question number seven says that a thin converging lens is made up of transparent material of refractive index four by three. If focal length of the lens in air is f, then its focal length and nature in another medium of refractive index mu is equal to three by two is. Now, dear students, from the lens maker's formula, we can write. That mu one by f is equal to mu two minus mu one multiplied by r one by r one minus one by r two, where mu one is the refractive index of the medium and mu two is the refractive index of the material of the lens. Now, in the first case, the lens is kept in air, and the air has a refractive index of one, so we can write that one by f is equal to four by three. Minus one multiplied by one by r one minus one by r two. Let this be equation number one. In the second case, the lens is kept in a medium of refractive index three by two. Therefore, dear students, we can write that three by two by f is equal to four by three minus three by two multiplied by one by r one minus one by r two. Here, let us represent the next focal length as f one. because it would be different than f let this be equation 2 now the students on dividing these two equations what we get is that 3f by 2f1 is equal to minus half which means that f1 is equal to minus 3f which means dear students that the focal length of the lens in the next medium would be thrice of its focal length in air also the sign of the focal length would be different which means that a converging lens would actually behave as diverging therefore the correct answer for this particular question should be option number 4 now dear students let us proceed to the next question in the test which is question number 8 question number 8 says that a prism of refracting angle 60 degrees and refractive index 3 is immersed in a liquid of refractive index root 3 the angle of minimum deviation will be now dear students the refractive index of the prism that is glass divided by the refractive index of the medium can be written to be equal to sin of a plus dm by 2 divided by sin a by 2 a a is the refractive angle which is given to be 60 degree as per the equation and dm is the minimum angle of deviation which we have to calculate 
Now, dear students, the refractive index of glass has been given to be equal to three, whereas the refractive index or the medium is given to be equal to root three. Now, substituting the given values, we can write that three divided by root three is equal to sine of sixty plus dm by two divided by sine sixty by two, which means that root three. Would be equal to sine of sixty plus dm by two divided by sine thirty. Dear students, it means that sine of sixty plus dm by two would be equal to root three into sine thirty. That will be root three by two, which means that sixty plus dm by two would be equal to sixty degree, or in other words, dm. Would be equal to sixty degrees. Therefore, the correct answer for this particular question should be option number two. Now, dear students, let us proceed to the further question, which is question number nine in the test. Question number nine says that an object is placed in front of a concave mirror of focal length ten centimeters. A virtual image is formed with a magnification of two. to obtain a real image of same magnification the object has to be moved by a distance now dear students as per the mirror formula 1 by v plus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f where v and u are image and object distances respectively and f is the focal length also the magnification is equal to minus v by u now dear students for virtual image it is given to us that m is equal to 2 which means that v is equal to minus 2u on substituting this value in the mirror formula we can write that 1 by minus 2u plus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f for the solving we can write that 1 by 2u is equal to 1 by f which is minus 1 by 10 which means that u is equal to Minus five centimeters. Now, dear students, in the case of real image, we can write that one by v plus one by u is equal to one by f. On substituting that v is equal to two u, we can write that one by two u plus one by u is equal to one by f. That is three by two u. Is equal to minus ten, or u is equal to minus fifteen centimeters. Now, dear students, we can see that the object distance has to be changed from minus five centimeters to minus fifteen centimeters, which means that the change in the object distance has a magnitude of ten centimeters, that is fifteen minus five, and hence the object has to be moved by a distance of ten centimeters. to attain a real image of the same magnification therefore the correct answer for this particular question should be option number 1 now let us proceed to the next question of the test which is question number 10 dear students question number 10 says that an object is placed in front of a convex mirror at a distance of 40 cm a plane mirror is introduced in the lower half of the convex mirror if distance between the object and the plane mirror is 25 cm it is found that there is no parallax between the images formed by two mirrors the radius of curvature of the convex mirror will be now dear students as per the question since there is no parallax between the images formed by the two mirrors that is the image formed by the plane mirror of the object and the image formed by the convex mirror of the object would lie at the same point in space now the diagram as in the question indicates the condition or the situation of this question the distance between the object and the convex mirror is 40 cm while the distance between the plane mirror and the convex mirror is 15 cm therefore the distance between the object and the plane mirror would be 40 minus 15 that is 25 cm the plane mirror therefore will form an image of the object at a distance of 25 cm from it on the other side now therefore 
the distance of the image from the plane mirror let i be the image would be equal to 25 centimeters now dear students since this distance is 15 centimeters and the distance of the plane mirror from the image is 25 centimeters the image should be located at a distance of 25 minus 15 that is 10 centimeter from the convex mirror therefore for the convex mirror we have v to be equal to 10 centimeter u to be equal to minus 40 centimeters the focal length of the convex mirror is unknown using the mirror formula that is 1 by v plus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f we can write further that 1 by 10 minus 1 by 40 is equal to 1 by f on further solving we can write that 3 by 40 is equal to 1 by f or f is equal to 40 by 3 the students radius of curvature of a spherical mirror is equal to twice of its focal length and herein it will be equal to 80 by 3 centimeters therefore the correct answer as per our calculation for this question should be option number 4 now let us proceed to the next question which is question number 11